All right, guys. Um, <clears throat> this will be what episode three of the series? Yeah, episode three. So episode three. Um, so today we're going to be reviewing the my SSD that I got for the build on um, this PC right here. Obviously, um, so um, this is the Team Group. Uh, GX1, uh, 480 gigabyte SSD, uh, SATA, obviously, SATA 3, um, and yeah, there's not really anything special about it, to be honest, I mean, the price was actually really phenomenal, um, I think I got this for what, around, 480 gigs, I got this for around $48, $49, I think, at one point. Um, so this was, like, a, a steal and a half. Like, I, I was like, yeah, I have to get this. And the read and the rates are actually pretty fast, apparently. Um, don't worry, I did my research on this before actually purchasing this because I, I didn't want to get, like, a SSD where my read and rates are, like, three and, like, two <laughs> so i was like all right let me actually do good research and the research i found it seemed as though the read and the rates advertised on this are actually correct so because of that i was like okay i i might as well just get it <clears throat> so i got it and um it, hopefully it, it it's fast when because i'm for this, I'm only really going to be using this one for, um, like, games and, like, um, when I want to run games off of it so I could get, like, the fastest speeds when, um, when starting a game and when there's no load time. Well, not no load time, but very minimal load time. So, by getting an SSD, I could do this compared to with a hard drive, it would take much longer for like, something to load. Like, say I had like the new Call of Duty, um, the new, like the new Warzone, that will take up a, a ton of space on here, of course, because this, this is only 480 gigs that, that game's like, what, 150 gig or something like that, but it will load up on here so fast that it, literally the load times would be insane when it comes to like booting up the game and actually starting, so... I feel like when it comes to that aspect, that this device is like, the SSD is actually really good for that. Now, a step up from um, an SSD would be a M.2 N NVMe, and those are, were more expensive, and I was like, oh, I want to save money and not go that route, because for what I'm doing, um, I don't really need something like that. Yeah, it would be nice to have something like that to have the fastest of the fast, but it's not like a necessity. Like, I'm not going to be doing any major, like, um, computing other than um, things like AutoCAD or um, simulation softwares like console and Michelle. But for the most part, I won't be doing anything that would require me to particularly get one, but I would get one and use one. But nothing really required me to actually do that. So that's why I ended up going with the SSD. Um, when it comes to the other options that I saw for SSD, um, I know Samsung has a really good one, the Evo, and I know um, WD really has a good one as well, but I just was like, all right, I, I'm pretty, even though those are like, really good i'm pretty sure i could find one on amazon that has similar reviews at a much cheaper price and that's why i have this one um so this is actually really good bang for your buck hopefully um we'll see actually i mean so far based off of what i've read and what i've seen people tested this with it seems like this is a really good thing for your book. Um, so, the capacity is 480 gigabyte because um, 
I'm starting off with 480 games because, I mean, yeah, I could, I a terabyte would be amazing, but um, I just wanted to make the most cheap and most efficient build possible. So by going the 480 gigabyte route, it, it didn't push me over like the price limit. So um, when I finished doing all the reviews and everything, so I'll add up all the prices and say, oh, this is this much, this is this much. And you guys will have like the overall um, price schematics for everything. So I'm just going to have to wait and do that. But once I do that, you guys will see the price breakdown and how everything is. Um, and I'll do that in later videos. Or if you guys want me to, I could start linking the actual products um, that i do for each part of the build so if you guys want me to do that just let me know it's okay so uh, we got that out of the way but let's actually open it up and let's see weird like okay it's one of those weird things okay okay i broke the case whatever here we go Voila. As you guys can see, Team Group, they have their um, their info on here. Um, makes sense when it comes to everything. Mm. Here are the ports that are going to be plugged into the motherboard. Um, the SATA ports. And on the back, it basically gives the information of like all of the um, product information, like you know, have the size 2.5 inches SATA 3.0 SSD, blah, blah, blah. And it actually gives you the, I don't know if you could see that, but it actually gives you like the voltage and amperage values, which is interesting. I mean, and for a device like this, you're not going to be using that many volts or amps at all. Um, it's just, it's literally just a solid state drive. So you shouldn't be using that many, um, that many voltage or amps. So it makes sense that it's not that many. 1.5 amps, I mean, that's still enough to like do damage to a person. So when it comes to that, always make sure you're grounded when you're dealing with computer products um but yeah so i mean there's not really much to an ssd it's it's really straightforward i mean it's basically back the ports on um, the parts where you screw it into your your um uh computer i don't know how i'm gonna screw i'm, I'm definitely Obviously, I'm going to screw it sideways, but I don't know, like, how I'm going to do that yet. So, I'm going to figure out how to orient it um, once I get uh, closer to getting all my parts. So, yeah. Um, apparently, a team group is okay for products like this, by the way. I, I don't know if I told you this. But apparently, team group is okay. Um, but some of their products can be questionable, apparently, from what I read. So, um, you just gotta be careful when it comes to that. And, uh, all right, let me talk a little bit more about, like, the product itself. So, it feels a little light. I don't know if that's just me and, like, me not having experience with SSD, but it feels really light. The plastic, I see why it's so cheap, because the plastic is, like, really thin like it's 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 yeah it's like it's like nothing there like you could you could break this down like just by like pulling on it it's it's thin um so you could tell like kind of where that cut corners but as long as the tech on the inside is good and, and works great then i don't have any issues but yeah the plastic definitely feels really low grade it's 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 almost like um, the plastics that are like at the bottom of a cheap laptop. Like it's, it's, 
actually, no, it's actually, I would say lower grade than that, actually, but, you know, the plastic's actually really bad. But it'll do the job. It's not gonna, I don't think it'll overheat or anything, unless you're doing something insane on it, which most people don't do. If you're going to do something crazy on your SSD, then you wouldn't get one like this. You would get, like, an actual name brand, so that makes sense. So, yeah. I mean, there's not really much to this SSD, so... I mean, it's just a SSD, so I'm gonna... Um, um, I got this guy. Ooh, the power supply, guys. Yeah, I got 600 watt EVGA. Um, before I go too in depth, this is gonna be for a separate video. Um, it's gonna be the next video, so I'm gonna end the SSD review here by leaving you guys with the power supply. Alright, that'll be the next video. Okay.